Two stories I'd love to share with you. This is where the drumstool diaries takes shape, so to speak. The first story I'd like to share with you is a story that recounts my experience in my first recording session in New York City. My first serious recording session, let's call it that. Uh, this was many moons ago. Uh, an artist on Arista Records called Jonathan Robbins contacted me. He said, Ron, would you, uh, would you like to come in and play? Because he'd heard I'd done some work with Sarah McLaughlin before I moved to New York City. I'm like, sure. So he invites me, we do some rehearsals, blah, blah, blah. Uh, he tells me that the other two drummers on the album, because he did some of the work in LA, were John Robinson and Jeff Porcaro. So this is a, a very humongous thing, of course, for me. I'm like, oh my God, I'm on an album with Jeff and John. And this was not very long before um, uh, Jeff passed on. So I'm like, yeah! I mean, not the, okay, you know what I mean. So we're in the studio, laid down the basic drum part, and everything's like cool. And the producer comes out and says, mm, I'm hearing a sound. And I'm like, uh-huh. And he's like, mm, I don't know what it is. I'm like, okay, can I help you find it? Let's go around the studio and look for it. So I got up from the kit. I went everywhere in the studio. I hit everything. I hit the floor. I hit the walls. I hit mic stands. I hit everything. We must have spent 25 minutes looking for anything. I, whatever percussion instruments, you name it. I hit everything. Come back to the drum set. We're talking there. And I'm just starting to get like, mm, I'm getting a little toasty, you know? I'm getting a little frustrated here with what's going on. And I'm, <sighs> he goes, that's it! I'm like, you're kidding me. No, that's the sound I have in my mind. So, we take my drum stool. He goes, gets a chair for me from the, uh, from the booth. Put the drum stool in front of me. He puts a microphone on the top, and then my favorite part, he puts a microphone on the bottom. Yeah. I hear the music, and I proceeded to play the following on an album with two of my greatest heroes, and this is what I ended up doing. Yeah. Can you feel the excitement? Quarter notes on a drum stool. Mic from top and bottom. The amount of ribbing that I got afterwards as being the stool guy is, you can just imagine. I then started to do other sessions and that's how I found out about my nickname, the stool guy. It's now time for the second of the stool stories. Um, I had the great privilege of appearing on stage at um, a COSA event, which is a uh, uh, up in Castleton, Vermont. It's a big uh, drum festival, like week-long dealy in the summer. Uh, and I happened to be there uh, performing with my band. And um, I also had the great privilege of being on stage in a trio format with Johnny Rabb and Steve Smith, uh, two of my great friends and great idols, uh, people who I love what they do. We were backstage. Uh, Johnny was about to go on and do his solo uh, set. And Steve Smith and I were sitting there with Johnny and we were just talking shop and talking polyrhythms and different grooves and stuff. And Johnny's like, mm, guess what we're gonna do on stage? I'm gonna call you out. I said, okay. But my kid's not set up. He said, ah, it doesn't matter. We're going to do this old school. When we were backstage, Steve had one of the leg uh, mounted practice pads. Johnny had one of the leg mounted practice pads. And I had, you got it, 
a drum stool. So it's like, we prepared this whole mishmash together. Johnny goes out, does his bit on the kit and so forth. And then he goes and sits out front of the drum set on the uh, podium. And he just starts doing this. So he just keeps that going, just on his practice pad. He's like, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to call out my good friend, Rod Tyler. I come out, and on stage, there is already a drum stool for me to sit on and a drum stool for me to play on. So I come out, and I just start doubling what he does. So this is going on for like another 30 seconds. Then Johnny invites Steve on stage and Steve comes out with his practice pad. And then the three of us are like. And we had rehearsed a little thing backstage where we did a metric modulation at this very surprising spot right in the middle of this groove that we were all playing together. So it sort of goes something like this. In the meantime, the other two guys are soloing. I'm holding the fort. So Johnny's soloing. And all that great stuff. And then Steve goes. On his practice pad. Then it was my turn. And I think I did something sort of like this. We all look at each other in our eyes. Johnny looks left and I'm sitting left of him. He's like, ready? Looks right to Steve. Ready? One, two, one, two, three, four. Classic ending. Never in my life until that day had I gotten a standing ovation for playing on a drum stool. Woohoo!